Hi, I'm Tommy Zimmer here at Motor City Comic Con 2013 in Detroit for Creative Continuity. Excelsior! If you've never been to a convention, then you really don't understand what goes on here. The hard thing about Indiana Jones was the whole time I'd go begin my pace that day, in my head... Dun, 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 dun. Well, it's awesome to meet you, sir. I'm really a big fan. That's as it should be. We're here at C2E2 with Wolverine. Wolverine, Logan, how you feeling today? Pretty good. What, uh, what made you come out for this weekend? To make sure the Magneto and Sabretooth and all them weren't uh, doing anything wrong. You really think they'd try to cause chaos in Chicago? Try and cause chaos anytime they can. Here at C2E2, we're going to be bringing you live coverage from artists, writers, and cosplayers. Hopefully some stars along the way. We hope you stay tuned to the rest of our coverage here at C2E2 2013. We're here at C2E2 with Marvel artist Scotty Young. So tell me, how'd you start in comics? How'd I start in comics? <laughs> I just went to shows like this, um, showed my stuff around, and uh, editor saw it and kind of rolled from there. What places did you begin showing your work? Uh, the, the Wizard World Chicago, back when that used to be Wizard World, uh, 2000, 2001. Did you uh, begin starting with independent work, or were you more jumping right into publishers? No, I, uh, Marvel was my first work in 2001. What, uh, what work did you first begin for Marvel there? Uh, Iceman number three. Oh, wow. How'd you eventually get into uh, doing uh, more uh, kid-friendly comics for Marvel? Oh, well, I mean, it, it was always kind of that way from the beginning. Most of my comics over the years have been pretty kid-friendly. I mean, I just did a fill-in issue on a miniseries, so I don't know if it, was that, if it was that deep or not. It was more just that was kind of my entry level, and uh, past that it was just whatever books uh, just built a momentum. What uh, books followed right after that? Uh, Legend, Spider-Man, Legend of Spider-Clan, Human Torch, Venom, and so on and so on. Do you, which, uh, which has been your favorite working on? Probably the Oz books I've been doing for the last five years. Do you think that maybe you're a kid at heart a little bit? Oh, for sure. Yeah, I'm definitely uh, not growing up anytime soon. Do you think being an artist affords you that ability just to, you know, be able to imagine these worlds almost? For sure. I mean, that, that uh, definitely helps me, um, helps me in my job, you know, trying to keep myself a little in a youthful frame of mind. What's it like working at Marvel these days with uh, everything going on, the, you know, with digital becoming more and more prevalent? Oh, it's great. I mean, it's just another outlet, you know, another outlet, new, another avenue for readers to find you. Have you had to adjust your art style at any point uh, because of that? No, not at all. What, uh, what stuff do you have coming up? Uh, more Oz, uh, more Marvel covers, and uh, that's pretty much it right now. Are you planning on any, any, any point doing any career own work? Uh, I've got a few things cooking, nothing I want to talk about yet, but definitely for sure in the future. This has been Tommy Zimmer for C2E2 2013 in Chicago. Signing off. The cost of Ten Commandments of Successfully Working with Artists. And if you're a writer and you want to create comics and you want to work with artists, these are probably like the 10 best rules or commandments or guidelines that I could give people that might be interested. Uh, commandment number six, thou shalt bend but not break regarding timelines and deadlines, says the guy that waited five years. I'll explain. If an artist has kept you waiting for twice as long as the originally discussed timeline, strongly consider finding someone else to work with for this project. Because you know, um, things come up and chances are you're not gonna be working with someone that, that does this full time for a living. And if so, you're paying them a lot of money, which if you have that kind of money, good. Most of us probably don't. Not to generalize, you all look very astute, wonderful people. But uh, chances are you're not gonna be paying Marvel or DC page rates to work on a comic that you have no guarantee will ever get published. So, you really want to bend but not break. Things come up, things happen. As a writer, I've had things come up, things happen. Like I said, my house started caving in under me, literally. I had to take a break from writing for a little bit. Um, things happen. Bend but don't break. My general rule is, 
if you're waiting twice as long as you originally discussed, start thinking about maybe this isn't going to be the right project, maybe this isn't going to be the right person to work with. Because it's a team effort, but it's still a team. And to be a team, everyone's got to contribute. And there's no ill will. If someone can't do it, they can't do it. So be it. You move on. You let them know. You don't just give the script to someone else without telling them. You know, unless it's five years, it's like, all right, listen. This ain't going to get done. Let's, let's be real. <laughs> Bend, but don't break. Okay. We're here at C2E2 with Marvel artist Scotty Young. Scotty, how are you doing today? Do you know about Bestow Productions? We're the area's leader in video production. We provide quality, award-winning, and professional work in television commercial advertising, video for the web, video content for direct distribution, video on demand, and so much more. Give us a call at 570-486-4948 and see what Bestow can do for you. And now you know.